An overlooked warning. News Channel 15 has uncovered the alleged attacker in the Concordia High School stabbing left a threatening message of his plans on his Facebook page. Good evening. I'm Heather Heron. I'm Mark Mellinger. We have new chilling details about that stabbing that locked down Concordia Lutheran High School yesterday. News Channel 15's Megan Stembel tells us about the 14-year-old suspect's Facebook page that seems to have some red flags on it. Heather, you got it. It's really unclear if any of the suspect's Facebook friends relayed the warning to any school officials. The message was not specific, but certainly in hindsight, it's concerning. The mass teen kneeling in front of a drum set is the 14-year-old that police believe is responsible for a stabbing in the cafeteria of Concordia Lutheran High School. He has 278 Facebook friends, and on the day before the stabbing, he decided to give any one of them who would read it a written warning. It's hard to read here on your screen, but he wrote, So excited for tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. Wait till you see my lunch. One friend says, What's in it? And the teen answers, Ha ha ha. The best thing ever. Another friend posts, I'm glad I won't be at lunch tomorrow then. To which the suspect replies, You probably will be glad. When asked to reveal the secret, the suspect says, I'm sure you'll hear about it. It's probably the best lunch ever. Right now, the 14-year-old faces a preliminary felony charge of aggravated battery. More charges could come, and the teen could be tried as an adult. Police say the 14-year-old used a Mark III military knife. It's a lot like this one, and the blade can vary from 5 to 7 inches. The 17-year-old victim, Billy Baker, is still listed in serious condition with a knife wound to his neck. Concordia High student Nathan Byers created a Facebook page called Pray for Billy Baker. It's gained more than 1,000 friends since yesterday afternoon. Everybody at Concordia and everybody, I've even had people from other schools comment and say, our thoughts and prayers are with you. On the page, Jessica Lubke Michalski writes, no one will understand why, and at this point, I think it's best to pray for both families. It is a time for everyone to come together, not to fall apart. Barb Johnson writes, praying for wisdom for all who are dealing with this. Wisdom so we think before we speak, and wisdom while everyone is looking for answers that don't seem to be available. A spokesperson for the Allen County Prosecutor's Office says that a detention hearing is set for that 14-year-old tomorrow. It will be then that officials will decide whether to keep the teen in custody or to release the young man for the time being. Reporting live in News Control, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.